The other quite interesting thing about this situation is, you know, the number of politicians that I've been in contact with, um, or at least notified by email, who know about it, including, you know, my personal member of parliament, of course, Richard Gannings, definitely had full-on email conversations with uh, his office. They know the entire situation, but uh, do refuse to become involved. Um, emailed uh, with the Justice Committee and Human Rights Parliamentary Committee. And uh, one of the gatekeepers there, maybe a lawyer, um, deleted my submissions, including the submission that uh, the Canadian Judicial Council um, should uh, be subject to the Freedom of Information Act since they claim that they're so accountable but uh, refuse to respond to any request for information uh, either just by a letter or Freedom of Information Act or uh, um, a request from Crown Council, for instance. Um, no, <laughs> just nothing. <laughs> so that's um, my experience with Parliament. Um, of course, the Minister of Justice not complying to a com charter complaint is is um, just the ultimate, right? It's just saying, no, this government is not bound by the charter. We are above. Right? <laughs> That's what they're tell telling us, right? When they refuse to respond to the complaint process, you can't, you can't enforce, if you can't enforce the law, there is no law. So, if they don't even engage with the enforcement procedures, then you don't have any rights. Pretty, pretty clear, right? So, that's basically what I'm saying to them. And they've got to agree or disagree. <laughs> uh, either way, they're screwed, right?